Hello, everybody. My name is Python, and welcome back to another episode of my Calamity Mod Let's Play. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We're on episode four. And guys, thank you so much once again for all of the support in the last episode, and indeed for all of the support and for all of you guys who came out to the Yoxcast Jingle Jam live stream, which I was a part of with uh, Chippy Pedwin and Yoxcast Shin. It was an amazing time, my friends. But yeah, we are back, and we are back. To the grind, my friends. Starting off with the Sun Spirit Staff. With six summon damage, requires 20 sandstone bricks and two desert feathers. Very, very cheap to make, so let's go ahead and make it. And, I mean, the cursed bit doesn't really matter. I mean, not unless... Hang a minute. Does it, like, make me cursed if I have the thing on... No, okay, no, it doesn't. Okay, so only if I'm holding the item will it actually do damage to me. But then again, the slime staff does the same thing. But this one's got, like, more stuff. 6% damage during the day, plus knockback. Huh. Okay. I mean, yeah, these have the same damage value. So, why the heck not? Let's go for it, my friends. Let's go for it. So, uh, in addition to that, let's have a look and see what other things the uh, Desert Feather can make. The Death Valley Duster, that's not in too hard mode. So, basically, we're pretty much done with this stuff for now. So, let's go ahead and uh, get all of this chucked away. I actually got myself some new Mandible Claws. Uh, this one does plus knockback. So, this one, you know, this one takes mana, right? So, this one doesn't, which is really, really awesome. So, we've got a really, really cool looking item here, which is absolutely fantastic. So, guys, uh, we are going to be heading over to the left-hand side of the world. We're going to explore it all, including the jungle, yes. And uh, we're hopefully going to see if we can grab ourselves some cool things. Now, do we have vein mana? Uh, yes. I clearly held the thing there. Okay. Uh, my key bindings are broken. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Give me a sec. I'm gonna see if I can figure it out. Alrighty, let's try that again. Yeah! There we go. We finally got ourselves some vein mine. Um, uh, yeah, that might have been the reason I haven't been able to use it this entire series so far. But anyways, guys, thank you so much again for the support in the last episode and indeed for the series so far. If we could keep it up with a thousand likes per episode, my friends, that would be absolutely beautiful. I would really, really appreciate that. Like I say, my friends, your support since I've uh, sort of returned has been really quite amazing. It genuinely has. So I really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. So let's open that up. Got ourselves some candy cane blocks. You know what would be cool is if we can get ourselves Wolfram armor by the end of today's episode. I think that would be absolutely fantastic. Good day to you, sir. Why don't you go ahead and get wrecked? And as far as I remember... Oh, wait. Hang on. Uh, how many uh, things do we need? So we need 12 plus 5, which is 17, plus... Eight, 25. So we need 25 Wolfram shards in total in order to make ourselves the full Wolfram armor. So, I mean, I don't know. We've still got the whole day pretty much to do this thing. Where did that guy just come from? I've got a feeling he might have come from a Sky Island or something like that because that was a very, very long drop by the looks of it anyway. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to continue heading to the left-hand side until we find something that we haven't seen yet. All right, guys, let's do it. In to the jungle we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now, of course, what we're hoping to find is, uh, well, okay, well, there's the corruption, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, we got both the crimson and the corruption. Last episode, I think we came across the crimson. So, yeah, now things are going to start getting interesting, huh? So, some of you guys were wondering whether or not this means we're going to get both of, of the evil biome chests, so both the corruption chest and the crimson chest. Uh, I'm pretty sure we should be able to, because upon generating this world, you have the option to generate more than one set of biome chests. Now, obviously, I didn't do that because I don't think that's very... Uh, I don't know. I think that's a bit weird to do uh, on a single player world. If it was multiplayer, then I'd actually understand it because, you know, you might want to have more than one vampire knife, for example. But, uh, yeah, I kept it on one set, but I noticed that as I changed it, the increment went up by five as opposed to just four. So, yeah. What that says to me is that, yes, both of the evil biome chests do spawn, which I'm obviously hoping is correct because if not, then we could be in a little bit of bother. Uh, so, yeah. But anyways, uh, let's continue going. Dude, I gotta tell you, man, these mandible claws are absolutely beautiful. I love them a lot. Alright, so what have we got? A wand of sparking. Again, later on down the line, I'm pretty sure that makes a ridiculous weapon. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take it. Uh, even though I'm pretty sure... Oh, yeah, we've, we've, we've got so many now. <laughs> we've got... I'm pretty sure we've got, like, three or four wands of sparking at this point. So, this is just absolutely stupid. But, you know... It's just one of those things, isn't it? You just kind of roll with it. Oh, this guy doesn't take any knockback, huh? Hey, man, I'm not okay with... Oh, God. Let's be careful here. Go on, get out of it. There you go. It's a shame those guys don't drop vines, but I guess I kind of understand it. Oh. How? Leave me alone this, sir. Oh! Okay, nearly dead. Okay, let's go ahead and not die. 
Uh, that would be a good thing to do, huh? All right. Goodbye, monkey. Goodbye, monkey. I need to kill this guy. Get out of here. Hey, my rage meter is nearly full. That's pretty cool, I guess. Once I guess the 10k, we can go absolutely ham. And do you know what? I am kind of temp... Oh, wow. Okay. A depth meter. That's pretty cool. I am kind of tempted to give uh, King Slime a go once we do get full rage. I think that might be a good idea. I mean, we've got ourselves a free summon anyway from the starter bag, right? I don't know. To me, it just seems like a logical idea. So, yeah, I think that might be another episode end goal. I mean, check it out, guys. We've already got 21 wool from shards. And I'm pretty darn certain I've already got a whole bunch back at base as well. So, I'm, I'm pretty certain we'll be able to make ourselves the wool from armor. Uh, maybe get some that have good reforges. That'd be really, really nice. And then, yeah, we'll hopefully give, uh, you know, King Slam a go. That'd be awesome, dude. If we can take down our first ever boss, that would be absolutely uh, beautiful. Oh, yes, it would. All right. So, yeah, let's carry on, though. Uh, We've got ourselves yet another chest down here, which is awesome. Uh, what are we going to get this time? Glow sticks. Hey, don't mind if I do. And, of course, any storage is good storage, right? So, of course, I'm going to take them. Uh, yet another Wolfram Shard. Or Wolfram Slime do thingy McDoohicker, man. Get out of here, sir. Uh, you need to get out of here, too. And, yeah. What's going on over here? Is this the... Oh, wait. Hang on. Are you kidding me? There's another desert temple. These bleeding things have we found in this world. Hang on a minute. Come on, bro. This is stupid. Sorry, Turtle. Didn't mean to do that, brother. Uh, yeah, seriously, though, that is utterly stupid. I can't remember. Have we, how many have we found? So there's one over there. There's one over there. This is our third one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know what else we can get from the freaking desert temple that might actually be unique and useful to us. I'm a little bit flabbergasted right now. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, this is actually kind of dumb. <laughs> uh, oh, well. I'm not going to complain about it. I'm going to go down. I'm going to see what the heck is going on. Now, any folks, decided to go down first of all just to see if there's anything cool down there. But, uh, nope, sadly not. Let's go ahead. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, baby. I am very happy right now. What else have we got? The Pharaoh's outfit. I mean, to be honest... I'm pretty sure that would have been, like, the only thing that we didn't have from this place. So, you know, that's kind of cool. All right, I mean, we might as well pick it up. I'm going to put this on, and then we're going to go and chuck away something. Something random, something we don't really need. I don't really know. Oh, uh, freaking uh, tin, maybe. Yeah, why not? All right, and then we need to chuck something away again. Uh, candy cane. I'm probably going to go and put the candy cane back in the chest or something. In fact, we have a freaking piggy bank. What am I on about? I'm being such a dumbo. All right, well, I need to organize my inventory right now. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be back in a bow. Whoa! Check this out! There's two giant trees right next to each other. Now, I don't know about you guys... But in my opinion, this is prime building territory between two trees. I mean, come on. It makes logical... Oh, my God. There's a freaking... Look. The, the, the freaking enchanted sword shrine uh, chasm has gone through the tree. That's hilarious. I kind of like that. <laughs> but, yeah. This is, like, actual prime building territory. I'm actually going to go and light this place up. Because, eventually, I think I'd like to go ahead and actually set up a base here. Like, I don't know, man. To me, it just makes logical sense. Like, this is a really, really cool piece of terrain generation. Like, I don't think I've ever seen two trees this close, you know? So, that's kind of awesome. And, of course, like I said, we've got ourselves the enchanted sword shrine uh, to get to. And, of course, we're going to do that momentarily here. Uh, but for now, uh, yeah, we're just going to dig around and uh, we're going to see what we can find. There's a lot of eyeballs rolling around. Good day to you. How about you all go ahead and die? Go up. Oh, my gosh, there's loads of them. <laughs> Go on, get out of it. Almost got full rage at this point, my friends. Oh, gosh. Hello. There we go. Fantastic. All right, I'll take the present. Let's open these bad boys up. Okay, nothing too interesting. All right, and let's go. Oh, wait. We don't even have to dig that far. Oh, it's a fake one, though. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a fake enchanted sword shrine. You can tell because the sword in the stone is yellow. Uh, a little bit of a sad state of affairs when that happens. But you know what? It is all fine and dandy. We could at least make ourselves maybe like a sort of mystical area out of this or something. You know, you know, enhance the area as opposed to destroy it or just leave it. You know? I don't know, man. I think we could have something cool. Alright, well anyways, uh, let's keep ourselves going. Oh my god. Dude. What the hell is going on with this world? I'm in disbelief! A Fourth desert temple. Four. 
I don't think I've ever seen this many desert temples in a single world, guys. I'm not even kidding. This is unbelievable. Like, there is literally nothing else we can get from the desert temple. Not as far as I can remember. We've gotten all the best things, man. Like, we've got ourselves the freaking... All right, I'm... All right. I don't even know what to say, man. I don't even know what to say. And I'll just disbelief. I mean, I'm pretty sure what we get now is going to be, like, some sort of duplicate, right? So... Yeah! It'd be awesome if we got yet another freaking uh, thing as well out of it. That'll be really, really awesome. All right, let's go down. Here we go. Nice flat area. A whole bunch of copper coin piles. Let's open these bad boys up. Any coin portals? Nah, sadly not. But oh well, doesn't matter too much. What do we got? Yet another flying carpet. Unfreaking believable. Just unbelievable, guys. Absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> Holy moly. All right, Bay Miner, do your thing. Woo, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, got a little bit more there. Got a little bit more there. Oh, my God, Bay Miner is amazing. Uh, oh, jeez. All right, well, the good news is this, this one has actually gone into some form of cave system. Uh, well, I say that, and we've actually just discovered the end of the cave system. All right, you'll love to see that. Basically, nothing going on. Ah, jeez, man. Well, I mean, I guess I could... Uh, Ah, you think you're smart? No, 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 no. Big fat no-nos. Um, guys. I just, I can't. I can't right now, dude. I just can't. How is there five desert temples in a single world? How is that possible? How? I don't... Oh. It's like right at the edge of the world as well. Like, I just don't know. Oh, hey, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on there, Sonny. Hey, get out of here, you freaking butt. I just can't believe that there's five of these damn things. Like, I just, I can't. I can't believe just how many we've come across. Look how many eyeballs there are, man. If we, like, actually farm these guys out, we could get ourselves all of the lenses needed for a suspicious-looking eye. That'll be... Oh, let's not die, huh? There we go. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, we've got ourselves uh, some things down here. Let's open this bad boy up. Eggnog. I can't even take it right now. God freaking darn. All right. Well, I guess we're going down here. Uh, again. A uh, freaking again. All righty, guys. Judging by the music, it has just become daytime, which is awesome. Right. Let's go and open these bad boys up. And, yep, yeah, pretty good. A few more gold coins out of that. And yet another sandstorm in a button. Very, very nice. Don't mind if I do. Okay, sweet. So, uh, yeah, guys, I'm pretty sure... I am 100% sure that that has got to be the last desert temple of the world. I mean, look at how far to the left we are now, my friends. I mean, there, there is no reason why another one should spawn. Surely. Like, actually, surely. There should be no reason why that should happen. All right, guys. Yep, there we go. We're now at the uh, left-hand side beach. Oh, yeah. You got to love the beach. I love beaches in Terraria. They're really, really cool, actually. Uh, but anyways, I need to go ahead and uh, once again organize my inventory because I've got rather a lot of things. Oh, there's... There, oh. Oh. Oh, there's dudes spawning in. Oh, I don't like this. Hey, broski, go away. Oh, they drop weapons. Cool. Don't mind if I do. 16 throwing damage. Goodbye. Hey. Might be worth farming those things out. I mean, they do do a fairly uh, hefty amount of damage, you know? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel like they could be a pretty good thing against King Slime, right? What? Oh, God. Please tell me I picked up my piggy bank. That thing just blew me up for 300 plus damage. Oh, I did. Oh, my goodness me. Thank goodness for Smart Python. Hashtag Smart Python for once. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Right, anyways, I could put that holly up there. And we've got some various decorative things I could maybe put down. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, we're looking pretty good. The question is, where are my freaking shards of shardiness? There they are, 24. And I'm pretty sure, like I say, we've got like a whole bunch more in here. Uh, so we have ourselves 54. Oh my gosh, we can make ourselves quite a lot of stuff, actually. Okay, so we've got magic damage, we've got all sorts of things. Question is, what do we want to go for here? Do we want to go for a mage loadout or a melee loadout? I'm kind of thinking maybe even throwing, because like I say, uh, the Urchin Stinger does 16 throwing damage. And, you know, we've got a bunch of shurikens and various other things. Kind of tempted to go throwing, you know? 
Let's go for throwing. Why not? We'll give throwing a go. It's not very often I do it. Uh, so, yeah. And, of course, we've got the uh, the chest plate here. So, what have we got? Arcane warding! Hey! Fantastic. All right, let's put this stuff on. 14 defense, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have a bonus of 3 defense and plus 5 defense when below 50% of health. That is very, very nice, my friends. Very nice indeed. Oh my gosh, I'm really happy about that. And of course, we've got like wolf from throwing knives, among other things as well, which is really freaking sweet. Uh, so yeah, I'll tell you what. We'll just go ahead and make ourselves a whole ton of them. 1,450 of them. Holy crap. All right, well, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, put these things on. Oh, wow. Throwing damage is very nice. Okay, 11 plus 14. Oh, we got quite the smorgasbord of th throwing weapons, my friends. We'll use the uh, most damaging first, and then we'll sort of go down the line. So we've got the throwing knives next. And then we got ourselves the shurikens after that. And then after that, everything's just looking kind of cool. All right, guys. We need to make ourselves a temporary and rudimentary arena here. I think all we're going to do is what we usually do, which is just go and make ourselves a bunch of platforms among the trees. And then, yeah, we'll get on with this thing, my friends. Oh, yeah. And also probably capture this uh, gold squirrel before you guys in the comments area absolutely roast the living heck out of me. There we go. We're looking good, folks. Let's get this thing rolling. And let's take down King Slime. Let's do it. Alrighty, guys. The big question, I guess, is are we ready? I think... I think we should be. We've got 180 health, 14 defense. If we buff up, including the sunken stew effect, we have ourselves quite a lot of life regeneration. So, ladies and gentlemen, all we can do is give this thing a go. And like I say, the urgent thing, we're basically going to go down the line in terms of the things we have going on. Okay. Things are... Oh, my God. Hello. Okay. Yep. Yeah, this guy's actually doing a fair amount of damage here. Uh, come on. Keep it going, brother. Oh! No, no, no. Big fat nose. Big fat no, no. Come on, buddy. Oh, no. I just realized because we died earlier, we no longer have access to the rage. Oh, no. That's actually terrible. That's actually freaking terrible. Oh, mate. I'm actually a little bit... A little bit uh, heartbroken about that one. All right. So every time he jumps, basically, we uh, should be able to get away with, uh, you know, going side to side, which is basically what we're doing anyway. Uh, so, yeah. And jump, buddy. There you go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Come on. Oh, wait. Uh, shurikens it is. Come on. Oh, much is out the game. I just lost my adrenaline, which is a little bit sad, but oh, well. We can keep it going, hopefully. Oh, there he goes. Okay, yep, the spiky slimes are definitely going to be a little bit of a pain, but you know what? We're still doing okay. 800 health. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yep. <laughs> 700. Come on. Should be no reason why we can't do this. Come on. Keep it going, buddy. Keep it going, buddy. Keep it going. We're using a throne loadout, guys. You gotta love a throne loadout. I'm loving the throne loadout. I genuinely am, actually. We're doing pretty damn well out of it. 300 health to go, my friends. With... Oh, not that... Oh, the only thing is this guy's gonna be doing a serious amount of damage. Now, I'm pretty sure his health increases. Uh, sorry, his uh, damage increases as we go along as well. So, yeah. Anyways, come on. 100 health. Okay. Like I say, now's where things start getting really tasty. He's got 20 health left. And... He's done. Woo! There we go, boys. There we freaking go. Absolutely fantastic. We uh, did that without too many issues. I mean, yeah, for the most part, when he was jumping, we could just go side to side, which is absolutely fantastic. What is that? A crown jewel. Ooh. And of course, guys, the big daddy itself. We got ourselves quite a lot of uh, gel out of that. Fantastic. Well, there we go, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. We uh, did that first time without too many issues on revengeance mode, no less. I'm pretty happy about that. I genuinely am. Yeah, awesome stuff. Uh, yeah, I feel like we're just about on par with our gear. So, yeah. Pretty awesome, guys. Pretty awesome. I'm very, very happy about that. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to clear my inventory. We're going to open all of these bad boys up. And we are going to end the episode. Oh, my God. Another gold squirrel. What the heck? There's so many of the damn peeps. We've got two of them so far. We could get 20 gold coins out of that straight away if we really wanted to. But anyways, guys, we're just about good. Let's open up the presents first of all. Nothing interesting out of that. We've got ourselves the crown jewel. I don't know if this is a rare drop, but it is a revengeance drop, which apparently is a material and boosts life regen even while under the effects of a damaging debuff. While under the effects of a damaging debuff, you will gain 10 defense. And like I say, is a revengeance drop. Absolutely fantastic. Good day to you, sir. You all need to die 
Oh my goodness me. You guys all need to like get inside so I can like bar these places off. Don't go outside, you dimwit! What the these guys are dumb. These guys are actually so dumb. Right, okay, okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. you need to stop. Blood orb. Oh yeah, we get blood orbs, don't we? Okay, right, let's uh let's bar that off as well. And there we go. Alright, uh let's open this bad boy up. We got ourselves uh oh wow. That's a lot of defense. There's like two loads of defense buffs. And we've got like a little bit of thorns on there as well. Okay, so we've got two out of three of the uh, throne armor bits. So if we manage to farm out this guy, we can maybe get ourselves full ninja armor. And it has more defense, maybe, than Wolfram? Or raw defense, maybe not with the uh, buff. Not entirely sure. But anyways, guys, yeah, the crown jewel, that is definitely worth it in my opinion. So let's go ahead and put that on. And yeah, 2% of damage taken is redirected to mana. Ooh, that's pretty nice. So check it out, guys. We got our first ever platinum coin of the series. Fantastic. So, guys, on that successful note, I think we're going to end the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, a big fat thumbs up would be very much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button, ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But that's going to wrap it up for now. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.